In mathematics, the court de Vries equation is a mathematical model of waves on shallow water surfaces. It is particularly notable as the prototypical example of an exactly solvable model, that is, a nonlinear partial differential equation whose solutions can be exactly and precisely specified. KdV can be solved by means of the inverse scattering transform. The mathematical theory behind the KdV equation is a topic of active research. The KdV equation was first introduced by Boussinesk and rediscovered by Diderik Kortweg and Gustav de Vries. Definition The KdV equation is a nonlinear, dispersive partial differential equation for a function of two real variables, space x and time t, with x and t denoting partial derivatives with respect to x and t. The constant 6 in front of the last term is conventional but of no great significance. Multiplying t, x, and by constants can be used to make the coefficients of any of the three terms equal to any given non-zero constants. Soliton solutions. Consider solutions in which a fixed waveform maintains its shape as it travels to the right at phase speed c. Such a solution is given by equals f equals f. Substituting it into the KdV equation gives the ordinary differential equation or integrating with respect to x, where a is a constant of integration. Interpreting the independent variable x above as a virtual time variable, this means f satisfies Newton's equation of motion in a cubic potential. If parameters are adjusted so that the potential function v has local maximum at f equals zero, there is a solution in which f starts at this point at virtual time, minus infinity, eventually slides down to the local minimum, then back up the other side, reaching an equal height, then reverses direction, ending up at the local maximum again at time infinity. In other words, f approaches zero as x plus or minus infinity. This is the characteristic shape of the solitary wave solution. More precisely, the solution is where sex stands for the hyperbolic secant and A is an arbitrary constant. This describes a right-moving soliton. Integrals of motion. The KdV equation has infinitely many integrals of motion, which do not change with time. They can be given explicitly as where the polynomials Pn are defined recursively by the first few integrals of motion R, the mass, the momentum, the energy. Only the odd-numbered terms P result in non-trivial integrals of motion, Lax pairs. The KdV equation can be reformulated as the Lax equation with La Sturm Liouville operator, and this accounts for the infinite number of first integrals of the KdV equation. Least action principle. The court Weg de Vries equation is the Euler Lagrange equation of motion derived from the Lagrangian density, with defined by derivation of Euler Lagrange equations since the Lagrangian contains second derivatives. The Euler-Lagrange equation of motion for this field is where is a derivative with respect to the component. A sum over is implied so EQ really reads, evaluate the five terms of EQ by plugging in EQ, remember the definition, so use that to simplify the above terms. Finally, plug these three non-zero terms back into EQ to see which is exactly the KdV equation long time asymptotics. It can be shown that any sufficiently fast decaying smooth solution will eventually split into a finite superposition of solitons traveling to the right plus a decaying dispersive part traveling to the left. This was first observed by Zabuski and Kruskal and can be rigorously proven using the nonlinear steepest descent analysis for oscillatory Riemann-Hilbert problems. History the history of the KdV equation started with experiments by John Scott Russell in 1834, followed by theoretical investigations by Lord Rayleigh and Joseph Boussinesque around 1870 and, finally, Courtweg and de Vries in 1895. The KdV equation was not studied much after this until Zabuski and Kruskal discovered numerically that its solutions seem to decompose at large times into a collection of solitons, well-separated solitary waves. 
Moreover, the solitons seems to be almost unaffected in shape by passing through each other. They also made the connection to early in numerical experiments by Fermi, Pasta, Ulim, and Singal by showing that the KADV equation was the continuum limit of the FPU system. Development of the analytic solution by means of the inverse scattering transform was done in 1967 by Gardner, Green, Kruskal and Mura. The KDV equation is now seen to be closely connected to Huygens' principle, applications and connections. The KDV equation has several connections to physical problems. In addition to being the governing equation of the string in the fermi pasta ulim problem in the continuum limit, it approximately describes the evolution of long, one-dimensional waves in many physical settings, including shallow water waves with weakly nonlinear restoring forces, long internal waves in a density stratified ocean, ion acoustic waves in a plasma, acoustic waves on a crystal lattice. The KDV equation can also be solved using the inverse scattering transforms such as those applied to the nonlinear Schrödinger equation, KDV equation and the gross pataevsky equation considering the simplified solutions of the form we obtain the KDV equation as or or integrating for special case i.e. Putting the integration constant to zero, one obtains the generalized stationary gross pitayevsky equation therefore, for the certain class of solutions of generalized GPE2 equations are 1, while with a the minus sign and the real the self-interaction is attractive one should expect the excess in value soliton solutions, variations. Many different variations of the KDV equations have been studied. Some are listed in the following table.